Did anyone think this would be good? No, actually, I take that back. The pre the first previews we saw in theaters were kind of good. At least it, it, it portended something better than what we got. I was... Uh, the, the first previews I saw left me hopeful. Yeah. But I was... then I did see that one extended trailer before Pirates, or was it before Wonder Woman? I think it was Pirates. Mm. And uh, I saw a little bit of the... Uh, Tom Cruise, you know, can I spoiler? Hey, yeah, well, we, we don't care. This, Please. It's, a, it's a terrible, just... it's, it's a bad movie. Uh, we don't care about spoilers for bad movies anyway, but. Yeah, he, so I so saw the you're... extended trailer with yeah. Tom Cruise going God mode and everything. And I was like, oh, frick. Oh, that. Another one of those. Yeah. Like, I didn't see that. I, I don't believe I saw, if I, if I did see the trailer, I guess it didn't register with me that you know, Tom Cruise went full on God mode. I yeah. thought Tom Cruise was just Tom Cruising, as it were. <laughs> How many goddamn yeah. cruise control jokes has been made over his career, I wonder? Yeah, really. I read that this, uh, some people say that this is the worst movie he's ever made, which I disagree with because he made Days of Thunder. Wait, you, you, did you read that before the scene in the movie? Yes, I did. You just didn't want to let me down? No, I, I, I read that, but I didn't know how much stock to put into that, you know? Uh, this could be... I, like, I was it's one of the worst, I suppose. Like I said, Days of Thunder, way worse than this. But uh, that's not exactly a high bar. Or really, actually, um, that's an incredibly low bar. But regardless of how you want to, uh, how you want to slice it, Universal, they've been begging, they've been pleading to make their own uh, extended universe series with their monster movies, and they have failed all three times they tried to do it. Dracula Untold yeah. was boring as shit and did not need to be made. Uh, I Frankenstein did not need to be made. Nobody gave two shits about this, and this was their le this was their third strike with the Mummy, and uh, nobody gives a shit. Even this is what like their most earnest attempt at starting the Dark Universe too, because they had the balls to label this the Dark Universe with the very first thing you see in the movie is the Dark Universe yeah. logo, and they were they were betting with house money on this. Their most earnest attempt to try to start this off, and nobody could give less of a shit. Our theater was practically empty. It, with the biggest theater they had in the Megaplex, in the yeah. Cineplex, maybe about a dozen people. Yeah. It could it could house maybe 150, 200 people. There was a there was a very very small audience for a theater 12. Oh yeah, for theater 12 that was an embarrassment. I there were more people in Cloud Atlas than they were in here, in that. But that just makes me sad. Yeah. <laughs> but apparently we were sitting we we sat in front of two people who apparently this must have been the first movie they ever saw because they were just they were into it oh they were good god bless them god bless them they were having a time of their lives i mean somebody should have some fun in that theater good god this is a mess of a movie from top to bottom i i don't even know where, really where to start other than start with the only good thing yeah let's start with the only good thing um and that would be uh sophia botel sophia botel botel yeah um she, she was Gazelle in uh, Kingsman. Kingsman. Kingsman, and she plays... Uh, I, 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 and she plays our mummy. Our mummy. Uh, Amanet. Amanet. I have a terrible time of pronouncing Egyptian names. Well, luckily I'm here for you. But uh, Amanet is a more, obs a little more obscure uh, deity, uh, often associated with Isis and Hathor, uh, because she's a you know winged goddess. Um, goddess of invisibility and air, I believe. Oh, so that's why, uh, oh, okay, so that's why that, uh, and particular... Wind, uh, wind, air, invisibility, yeah. Yeah, that's why that particular 70s show, uh, <laughs> that's why that happened. Okay, all right, that, that makes a little bit more sense. What? <laughs> well, there was a 70s television show, uh, in the same vein as Wonder Woman, uh -huh. where a woman has super heroin powers, and she was called oh, upon Oh, do you mean the ISIS yeah. one? Yeah, I never watched it. But she had to call upon the powers of God, and she would fly. So that makes well, more sense. Well, Isis is very much a flying deity as well. So, but yeah, but then that same realm. Now, I, you know, all right. So, mm -hmm. the powers that you know, the powers that she got when she called upon. Isis. I'm sure that they didn't have the you know means to create proper wings. Actually, <laughs> it was either. It, it was actually kind of embarrassing. She was just kind of like, okay, now the yeah. wires have got tension, and now she's flying. But that's <laughs> but, but that's yeah. a television show. This is the movie. Um, so it's weird to see... Not connected at all. Oh, yeah, obviously not. Um, but, uh, <laughs> of all the things that, you know, they, they were drawing from Egyptian, archae uh, Egyptian mythology, the weirdest thing is that, for some reason or another, Set, the quote-unquote villain of the movie, is the god of death, when that's... Uh, they, no. so they call him the god of death in this? And when he's the god of, uh, actually the god of storms and desert? Um... <laughs> 
and like mm -hmm. chaos, but all, all bad things. Uh, whereas Anubis is not a bad god. He's not like he's not a he's not the villain in the story, and that's why they didn't go with him. They wanted some someone who was a villain, but they also wanted death because you know, but just go mummies. With Death. Just go with the Anubis then, because people yeah. have heard of Anubis, but people you have could not go heard with of Anubis. Sex. But the thing is, like, like, Anubis was not a was not a malevolent deity. Well, that's the again, like, who gives a shit whether or not like the Egypt mythology had them cast as a hero or as a villain? Because this is a movie, and you can change whatever you want. But if you're going to say Set is a god of death when he wasn't, why don't they just use Set and then not and just not call him the god of death? Exactly. I mean, it's not like Set has no way of having anything to do with death when he's the god of storms. <laughs> the, my, my point is that it's just needlessly confusing, and it's a weird thing to get wrong. Yeah. Of, like, of all yeah. the things th this movie got wrong, which there is a long, long laundry list so of... Blatant. It's just so blatant. It's the weirdest thing it got wrong. Or, but... Sophia regard Sophia did a fine job in this movie as our uh, villainess, but then again, she was given pretty crap material and wasn't really given a lot to do. Instead of walk mysteriously and just kind of, you know, like... Stop. Eye candy was really all she got to do in this film. Yeah, she, she had a few uh, lines. I mean, she, she was fine. She's the only good part of this movie because she, she looks great, you know, in the mummy thing. And they didn't have nearly enough of her as, like, a corpse-like mummy, though. Hmm. Uh... It felt really like let's rush to the part where she looks really sexy in bandages. I mean, I can't, you know, I... Not that there's a problem with that. Not that necessarily there's a problem with that, especially if this movie's not going to give me anything else to enjoy. Yeah. I mean, I but I will say that there were moments where I was just looking at her and I'm just thinking, you know, this probably would be a whole lot better if I didn't sit through Suicide Squad and watched Enchantress <laughs> kind of do the exact same shtick yeah. and do it way, way worse. When you're getting Suicide Squad flashbacks with Enchantress, you... <laughs> yeah, at least it was better than Enchantress. <laughs> a lot of things are better than Enchantress. That's, again, not a high watermark. So, Sophia, you're, you, did, you didn't deserve this crap. You should have been in a better movie. You didn't let it drag you down, which I think is the mark of a good performer at the end of the despite day. Despite the CG and the double irises and the... Oh, oh, yeah. Despite it all, you managed to deliver some decent lines and you know, look cool and whatnot. And well, I will say that the double iris thing, it got a little Colin Hay for my taste after a while. <laughs> I can't can get to sleep. I worry it over mama vacation. Who can it be now? Yeah. Who is that knocking at my tomb? <laughs> Go away. <laughs> or you will you face your doom. <laughs> or you will face your doom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's, yeah. If you're Tom Cruise, you... Okay. That's, okay let's, well, let's drop it off. Not, not everything can be Dane DeHaan song. Not everything. Yeah. <laughs> but actually, let's get to Tom Cruise. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be hard not to. It seems that Tom Cruise has gone on this weird trajectory of a career path where he... Like a cruise missile? <laughs> no, because a cruise missile... It's, a cruise missile eventually collides with something and then explodes and then that it goes away. But he just his his career just kind of start with an arc and just kind of flatlined at the top. Mm. It, it's at the point where I don't think any movie can really bury him as far as his as far as his appeal is concerned. I mean that's why he's in this movie because he's like one of the very few bulletproof Teflon actors yeah. who can still maintain a high profile despite being in some pretty bad movies and in some cases be able to carry said bad movie to at least a passable grade. But Tom Cruise here, it feels, but he's, he, it's like he's being cast in roles that are supposed to be unlikable. Like he's a, like in Edge of Tomorrow, which turned into Live, Die, Repeat. <clears throat> I, 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 I don't understand. Uh, I don't understand why you marketed the same movie with two different names, one right after the other. You're just great confusion in the marketplace. I actually enjoyed that film. Yeah, but like you enjoyed that film, but not 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 necessarily because of Tom Cruise. Not necessarily because of him, but it was just a good movie, and he didn't do poorly in it. Mm -hmm. Exactly, and like, but he started off as this, you know, self-centered punk, mm -hmm. and then he, you know, through a, a, a battery of assault, and basically the movie just beat the crap out of him until he's not such a jerk anymore. Now he's and he turned into what he, you know, he turned into Tom Cruise by the end. It's of the hard. I keep I, I keep remembering him for finer times, like 
you know, interview the vampire and Vanilla Sky movies where he actually had great acting. Where he had to act. Not let his physical screen presence do the acting for him. And once again, or, uh, the man knows how to run. Or uh, Steel, was it Steel Magnolia? Or America, no, Steel Magnolia. Yeah, Steel, Steel Magnolia. Magnolia. Yeah, but like, the man knows how to run. I mean, I'm not going to fault him for that. And he does throw himself very physically into every role that, you know, is demanded of mm-hmm. him. And I'm not going to fault him for that. But there's got, it's it's quickly turning into a one-trick pony. And nowhere is it more obvious than in this, yeah. than in this movie. It's It's just awkwardly trying hard and like how many like how many like you can literally set your watch to uh like how much time between scenes does he have to run away from a sandstorm or how much does he have to run away from a from a a, a horde of rats how many times does he have to talk about you know his performance in bed how many times does he have to mm-hmm. save a, the damsel does he it's just the tropes are they're troping around and yeah and no more is it parentfully apparent like yeah. i said than in this movie but what i find to be interesting in this role for him in particular is that he's starting to let go of the leading man or at least the traditional leading man archetype mm-hmm. and start becoming like this like i said a punk this is the second time in as many <clears> almost <throat> as many years where he started off as an unlikable little prick and then by the end of the movie he's the hero of that oh god maybe i should stop drinking that uh <laughs> it's a positive i don't seem to be having any problems uh, yeah I, I envy your stomach regardless the um he turns into like i said tom cruise by the end of the yeah. movie except even more so because uh like I, we, we don't give a shit about spoilers so we're just going to talk about whatever yeah. we're going to be talking about uh, he literally turns into set at the end of the movie. <laughs> Somehow, it's 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 such bullshit. I, I I I gave up a long time ago trying to follow the logic or why he stabbed himself with the magical MacGuffin knife to, to return into himself into set. You want to hear? You want to know just how Tom Cruise tropey this movie was? He beats the villainess by kissing her to death. Literally, sucks. or it's to- kissing her into torpor. Yeah, and then sucks the life out of her. And I was thinking that she, he was going to give the kiss of life to uh, the most bland <laughs> love interest I can remember seeing Oof. in quite a while. Oh, yeah. She was B L A N D bland, a wallflower of an actress. And, and I'm role... going to spell it out for you. B L A N D. Yeah, like she bland. was utter. She was utterly useless in this movie. She he. But I thought he was going to give her the kiss of life to wake her back up, even though on screen she's been dead for at least five minutes. But instead... But instead, he just... Wake up! He literally fus her. fus her. He, he fus her to life. And then he just <laughs> hangs out in the shadows for some reason while she wakes up. It's like, I gotta go now. They're gonna be after me. Bye. Why was he hanging out in the shadows? I don't know. Because from when we do see a little bit of him, he's not. He like... just looks like Tom Cruise. Yeah. So like, what, what were you doing? Oh, yeah. I mean, it's not like he had something to hide. <laughs> hide is in. Uh... Oh, let's 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 just drop the chandelier, as it were. Actually, speaking of chandelier, I'm surprised Phantom of the Opera wasn't in this movie. Mm. <laughs> so a large portion of this movie is not even the mummy. It's freaking Doctor Jekyll. Yeah. It's in the most awkwardly placed like this is what i was talking about like if if gavin was seeing the matrix code as it were in uh that last marvel movie in the worst of list where he could just see like how like committees were going to try to patch things together to create like a marvel movie Mm -hmm. this would just send him careening off a cliff in a fiery car wreck this is the worst worst attempt at an extended universe kickoff Ever. And I'm putting... <laughs> I'm putting Batman v Superman over this. Yeah. I yeah, am, you know what? Yeah. yeah go, Batman go, v, go for it. Yeah, go for it. Batman v Superman was a better extended universe. Like as far as tie-ins for looking just at the tie-in par- portion of it. Yeah. Yeah. This was... This was so bad. This is so blatant. And I'm using words over and over again now it's, because I'm running out of other words to use for the common things that happen in this movie. Um, yeah, they, they just kind of cumble. They just cumble. They just come out like a dumpster truck. It's just, yeah. it just it flattens you. And you're just kind of left in this whole pile of, oh my God, that is too much at once. They get to... They, they dig up her sarcophagus in Mesopotamia because... It just couldn't have been in Egypt, I suppose. It just, 
It just couldn't have been in Egypt and on on their way to England for some reason. Well, um, they found Crusaders, Crusaders uh, raided the tombs of Egypt, and except they didn't. They raided the, the the tombs in Mesopotamia, <laughs> in yeah. Persia. So, I yeah, they they didn't do no. That wasn't Egypt that the Crusaders. But like, uh, if it was okay. So okay, <laughs> I, I know this is okay. Bear with so, us. So. <laughs> Her tomb ends up, apparently, in England, or was it in Mesopotamia? It was, her tomb it was, was actually in Mesopotamia. It was in it, Iraq. Somebody, yeah, it, it, was, it was in Mesopotamia. The, 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 the Crusaders were under London yeah, that they found the tombs of. Yeah. And I think that's where the stone was? Yeah, that was the stone. That's name where the stone the, was. That's where the stone was, and, that, and the knife that the magical MacGuffin knife was yes. buried in a st statue in a like in a cathedral in an old cathedral for some reason okay so apparently they they raided Mesop the tombs of Mesop the ruins of the things that got to Mesopotamia from each fuck how did they get to Mesopotamia <laughs> I don't remember that part of the movie for some reason <laughs> how did when did she go to Mesopotamia I don't know like one could assume that during the crusades they like they found that tomb then dug it back in for some reason yeah, but, 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 but i get that they found it in mesopotamia but then why was it in mesopotamia I, I, if that's where they found it well i don't know why it was in mesopotamia but like the movie doesn't explain where how in the hell the crusaders got the knife in the first place you know how hard it would be to move that all the way from Egypt to Mesopotamia? I mean, I know we're it's, talking about the industrious Egyptians. But we're also but, talking about a distance of like a thousand miles. Yeah, that is way more work than they had to do moving stuff to build the pyramids. Oh yeah, especially since they it's been recently discovered that they built canals to ferry the bricks down the quarry into where they were building the, the pyramids. So uh, they, so they, that was recent. Yeah, it was recent, recent discovery. Huh, I didn't hear about that. Yeah, it's That's actually cool. really ingenious. Actually, they built little little canals to uh, ferry the bricks. But my, uh, what I'm what do you mean like by water? Yeah, like by water. Oh, so like so a little they, raft. Oh, uh, so so they, uh, huh. So that's how they move those gigantic bricks huge distances. I from think that the last best idea they had was that they uh, would pour water on the sand in front of the sled that carried it, mm. in order to for it to be able to slide easier so they would just keep pouring water in front of it but this makes i don't know i have to look into that yeah but it's it's all interesting read but hmm. what i'm wondering is why in the world would did they bother like these knights of these crusades why did they bother recovering the corpse of mm -hmm. recovering the corpses move them all the way back to in london <laughs> to bury them <laughs> like Last I checked, the crusade wasn't fought on the soil of London. It wasn't fought on England soil. It was fought in around the area of Jerusalem, and around yeah. the Mediterranean area. By far be it for me to question this movie's <laughs> insistence on history. Well, regardless, whether or not the time, the whether or not the time scale makes any sense or not, the questions keep piling up. Regardless, yeah, not, like. All right, so she was buried in Mesopotamia and then was just forgotten about for 5,000 years until Tom Cruise and his annoying-ass oh, partner. Oh, God, him. And his annoying-ass partner. It's like they needed to put some, like, they need to put somebody in there to make Tom Cruise look better. And, uh, like, I, when he when he died in the movie, I thought, like, yes, but then he kept coming back. He just kept coming back, and he never stops. Never Fucking stops being an annoying, braying jackass. And guess what? At the end of the movie, he's brought back to life. Yeah. So he can be in whatever they do next. Oh, oh God. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, this is wonderful. Wonderful writing there. Universal. Wonderful. But that's not the most galling part. So... After they brought back the sarcophagus with uh, with um, I'm in, I I can't I can't Amanet. Amanet. I cannot it's Amanet, dude. <laughs> I know, right? Like duh. <laughs> it's like Amanite, but not Amanite. 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 <laughs> Aerodact. Yeah. Right. Amanite slowpoke. But um, during the I don't know why they went to London. I have no idea why they they were trying to go to London because. Here's the thing, though. Even though the love interest was working for the secret society that was yeah. collecting all these monster relics, even she was surprised to find out that they were heading to London. 
<laughs> like, I, it's like, I thought that's why you were doing that. <laughs> well, I thought you were trying to get this to them. So, well, you're surprised too? <laughs> yeah. But regardless, they're, they went to London where we finally meet our uh, Russell Crowe, who is da -da -da -da, Dr. Jekyll. Yes, he meets, uh, Tom Cruise meets Russell Crowe, who introduces himself as none other than Dr. Jekyll. Dr. Jekyll. And he... and he immediately goes into a fit where he has to inject himself to stop from hide from coming out. He... Like, hello, I'm Dr. Jekyll, and ooh, what's that? Ooh, I gotta do something. See, that's the, like the evil's trying to get out. Yeah, like, on one hand, that's the... Fucking God. Like, on one hand, that's the worst. That's the worst. But on the other hand, it's also the least and the funniest part of the movie for me. <laughs> Like, when he finally, like, they're, so you're expecting, okay, he's going to transform into Mr. Hyde. What are they going to do for Mr. Hyde? And so, like, he, you know, lets go of the vial, and then he fights Tom Cruise for a little bit, and you're thinking, okay, what's he going to be like? Is he going to be like a werewolf kind of furry big fangs or anything? Like, no, he's just ugly. He's just ugly Tom. Yeah, he's got, like, the greenish skin and the, the red eyes. Like, you know, he has, like, burnt skin. and It looks yeah. like he has, like, you know, like he has, he's a burn victim a little bit. But the most hilarious thing is that apparently there's this whole protocol in place to keep, in case he doesn't take his ejection, blast shields are folding down, like, sirens are going beep, off. Beep. And then, like, there's literally, some guy literally stopping the love interest from trying to save Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise from the wrath of Mr. Hyde. He's like, no, you can't go in. It's Mr. Hyde. And all he is is just a guy. He's just kind of... He's just a guy. He's just a guy. He just punches him. Yeah, and of... he gets the shit kicked out of him, to be perfectly honest. I know. Tom Cruise. It's like, it's like, oh, no, run for your lives. It's a middle-aged guy. Yeah. Like, they were treating this guy like he was the Incredible Hulk. <laughs> I think he even said pretty much, that was pretty much said as much while they were fighting. He's like, I know you're a young lad, but you're going to have to... You're going to have to prepare for uh or what was it the line it was like you're, you're gonna, yeah, yeah. you have to prepare yourself for a man like me like, i don't know and then, and then he gets you know his like teeth knocked out <laughs> it's like <laughs> it was it was like oh god we almost had uh the the, the devil russell crow from uh winter's tale back or something oh no i i, I would uh, <laughs> It was that kind I could, of me acting. I could understand him in this movie. I could not understand him at okay. all in Winter's Tale. In Winter's Tale, he sounded like Popeye's dad. <laughs> <laughs> so, even though that is the worst... Mr. Hyde is the worst part of this movie just because of how... Like, it reeks of desperation of him being yeah. in this movie. Of utter desperation. And how it basically makes the movie's narrative this already wobbly weak as a baby chick just out of the egg n weak narrative all of a sudden it cuts it cuts his legs out from under it but just having like, i'm mr hyde how many goddamn times do you have to see these big ego actors take over these films that aren't supposed to be about them looking at you fucking mm, john, fat, john, uh, michael fassbender uh, yes him too yeah, johnny Depp. michael fucking fassbender oh by the way we saw the uh the the trailer for murder on the orient express and as mm. soon as he saw johnny depp he was just like <laughs> like oh that's interesting <laughs> oh, oh look it's uh kenneth branagh oh that's nice i was like oh johnny depp <laughs> yeah, willem defoe's in that film and i'm still like it. so so powerful for your dislike of johnny depp if Dare I say Peter Weller was in this movie. Would you? Oh, man. Willem Dafoe and Peter Weller. Nah. I want to believe two rights can undo a wrong. <laughs> uh, we all would like to believe that at the end of the day. My, uh... But, uh... Really, there's... Actually, we kind of talked about all there is to talk about in this movie. The ridiculousness of the plot and... Like, the, the whole setup is this convoluted business with a knife because, all right, I will say that uh, Ammonite, I, I, now I gotta say <laughs> Ammonite. I'm just gonna call her Ammonite. I don't give a shit. So, the, 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 the Ammonite's whole thing Go is that she, Ammonite just was a, apparently a daughter, of a daughter of a pharaoh who was in line for the throne, but then her father had another... Oh, God, this is so stupid. Yeah, another... I fucking hate this. Okay... <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, Almanette. Almanette, you're going to make me do it. Do it. <laughs> just no. call her Almanite. I okay, know you I, I, may as well for this, <laughs> for this film. Uh, Almanite apparently is um, heir to the throne, like you say, and mm -hmm. 
Um, some a little something gets in the way, and that her father has a, another child. Mm -hmm. And it's a boy, I guess. Yeah, it's that a boy. means that she has to cater him, basically, be a you know a, 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 a steward to the throne until he's ready, uh, like they did with Tut. And um, she's not gonna do that. I don't blame her. And so she murders him and the father and his wife. Her father and mother and the kid and her brother. Well, and, technically stepmom because it says uh, that she like her mom died of, in birth. Uh, okay, so. Uh, so she does that, and it's like, okay, sure, uh, but she also, she didn't need to do this at all, but she makes a pact with Set to basically take her wrath out on humanity. It's like, you... Why do you need to do that? You, you killed them already. You got the job done. You're heir to the throne, as no, long as you... Like, she did that before. She took made the pact before she killed them. But, oh, she did. But she, but, did, well, she didn't need to. Did. Yeah, There's exactly. the way she took them out. She didn't need any power. She just killed them in their sleep. They showed it. She just... Yeah, they're like... sleeping, she slits their throats. You don't need a pact with Set to do that. No, no. It just, it just kind of seemed like, you know, just in case. <laughs> and taking your wrath out on humanity for what? For not being daddy's favorite anymore? Or just... What did humanity have to do with this? <laughs> well, like, I guess you could have gone with, like, a grudge angle where she, like, where she, uh, you know, like, she died trying to, um... It's so stupid. Like, she died in such anger or something that, like, her spirit couldn't rest and now she's... But except that she made the pact before she died. Yeah, exactly. Deeply. So the, the pact was utterly useless, but otherwise, without that pact, there's really no plot. And, and a part of the pact was apparently that she has to be the the uh, the queen, or the, well, not even, I, I guess the queen, the bitch of whoever becomes set. Because <laughs> the guy gets to become the god, and she's just his fling. So, like, I really don't understand, like, what she gets out of the deal, either. She did all that so she could be the fucking heir to the throne, so she could rule over Egypt. And then she makes a pact with Set to be his bitch. <laughs> Where is your drive? What are you... S stupid. It's like, it's like, dear Set, I will totally be your bitch if you let me kill my parents and my baby brother so that way I can be Pharaoh of Egypt. It's like, well, you could have done this without my help, but... <laughs> Who am I to say no to a mortal? All right, go ahead. Just go ahead. Just go ahead. And then like, I would love it, like if Set turned out to be like Carl from Aqua Teen Hunger Force, <laughs> where she, he's she's all this movie she's trying to resurrect Set into a mortal body so that way he can rule from, he can rule the mortal plane. And then, like I wanted her to succeed and just kill Tom Cruise because apparently she chose him to be the vessel of Set because he was the guy who inadvertently just had enough of just released her basically this long convoluted setup. This mousetrap board game of a setup in order to get yeah. to release her. So she chose him, so now he's a vessel for Set. And I would just love it if the ritual happened and Set comes out and he's just Carl. You know, like, <laughs> it's like, yeah, bro, what do you want? <clears throat> like, you wake me up on my 5,000 year nap for this bullshit? <laughs> it's like, don't wake me up for my nap unless you got a beer and a sandwich. <laughs> No, why don't you go set me down a beer? <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> why don't you settle down? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What's with this uh, nonsense of talking about resurrection and ruling anything, okay? I don't want to mess with nobody. I don't want nobody messing with my me time. God. It's like... It's like, what did you mortals get wrong? I'm not the god of death. I'm the god of storms. and the god of destruction. Speaking of storms... What do you want, Fry Man? I'm gonna hug the breath right out of you. Like he's gonna, I'm gonna suck the life right out of you. <laughs> you have to do it right out of the asshole, right? That's how this is done. It's just like in, you know, uh, Bubba Hotep. I saw that movie. Don't ask me how from the afterlife. <laughs> yeah, so like from like. Like, as you said, like, from... This movie would have been a hell of a lot funnier if she had to do it, like, in Bubba Hotep. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't know why it must be out of the ass, but... Tom that... Cruise, bend over. <laughs> uh, it would have been funny when she had to do it to the dudes when she did it to the other women, though. That would have been, like... 
on one hand, like, yeah, it's mm. hilarious, but on the other hand, you know that some video yeah. on Pornhub is just that. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, you're taking away our opportunity of making our own porn. Stop it. We what be- are we going to do now? <laughs> Damn it, Hollywood. Always beating Hollywood to the punch. <laughs> Always beating the porn community to the punch. <laughs> Rather. But, like, like so, like, yeah, from, like, the get-go, this plot absolutely makes no sense. From the word go. Yeah. Absolutely makes no sense. The whole setup with the Crusades means absolutely bullshit. It's absolutely bullshit. I mean, I get why they wanted to keep it to England so they didn't have to shoot in a foreign... They didn't have to shoot in Namibia for all the time. Mm -hmm. So I get why they wanted to put it in a metropolitan area. But, by God, like, you have to bend your brain into a pretzel to try to figure out why we're in the place where we are yeah god i miss fred and fraser yeah so do i yeah unfortunately if you've seen recent pictures of him he ain't looking too good I, i'm just not doing that yeah like thing. if you if you don't if you want to make yourself depressed i'm good if you want to make yourself depressed go look up what brendan fraser looks at looks like right now <laughs> i i won't <laughs> The, the mummy? I mean, no, 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 no. I'll, I'll bigger? Put, like, if you've been wondering what where Brendan Fraser has been, if you look at him today, That's you would funny. think that he, he was encased in a cheese prison, oh. and the only way for him to get out was to oh, eat dear. his way out. He... Oh, oh no. Yeah. No. That's a... It's a... It's a... It's, it's, it's rough. I'm not going to yeah. sugarcoat it. It's rough. <laughs> Don't just sugarcoat it. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna eat it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Brendan. Uh, I love you. I love you, yeah. bud. I, I, you're you were in a lot of my childhood favorite movies. Yeah, yeah. Great in Scrubs. Great in everything. Great in yeah, great in everything. But I don't know. Like, is there anything really left to talk about this turd of a movie other than oh, how much we yeah. hate it? <laughs> it's just so bad. It is bad for. <laughs> From start to finish. Oh, and like how, like how, un- we already talked about like how in that annoying um, comedic relief guy just. Oh, fuck him. Yeah, like him and like you know, Tom Cruise is once again dipping into the unlikable jackass, the unlikable jackass pool again to even less of a return than. <sighs> yeah. Considering the turnout in the theater, I'm guessing that this is going to be yet another flop. And maybe this will finally tell Universal, we don't want this. Yeah. We do not want this. You used your three most iconic monsters to try and start something. And it has been goose egg. Just yeah. goose egg. You tried your best. And then in that way, like, now here's a question I do want to ask, actually. Considering how hard they tried to do it as far as using high-profile actors, as far as trying their, you know, like, you know, using, like, a goddamn tamper's brush to put in all this extended universe lore in the middle of the movie, yeah. how hard they wanted this, and how uncomfortable, like, and how much it makes the movie suffer because of it. Because of all of that, do you think that this is, this would have been worse if they tried to, like, I don't know, Dracula Untold It, where they just, mm-hmm. like... Eh, tell the story, but if Mummy you... Untold. Yeah, like if... Like, whereas Dracula Untold was supposed to be the start of an extended universe movie, but it just kind of, like... Good. Was, it was just sort of like this, eh, movie that nobody really gave a shit about. Nobody wanted it, nobody asked for it, and nobody Bat went to... Fist. S- <laughs> nobody went to see it. Versus this, where they try too hard to make this yeah. happen. I don't know, what do you think is worse? <clears throat> Not trying at all? whatsoever or trying too hard i mean trying to, trying too hard can be amusing trying too hard can be amusing and this was way more amusing than dracula untold and not trying at all is worse at least you tr- if you try too hard you've made the effort mm-hmm. but well you tried you, you were ambitious you were i guess there you was could, something to be said i mean you really wanted it like you obviously you really wanted it otherwise you wouldn't have gotten tom cruise of all people you would have gotten some you know, no face actor like most of these movies like to use. Yeah. You know, your Liam Hemsworth. Well, actually, Hemsworth is too big of a name. You would have used uh, their, their worth, their version of Sam Worthington. 
You know, where the fuck has Sam Worthington been in, in the last four years? He just kind of disappeared off the face of the earth yeah. after the second Clash of the Titans movie. What was it, Wrath of the Titans? Yeah. Oh, remember the uh, Wrath of the Titans, yeah. Yeah, Wrath, after Wrath of the Titans, he just kind of... Yeah. Just you know, kind of I mean, waited like, for the next Avatar movie, I guess. I mean, I, it they, really wasn't that great, though. Yeah, no, so. but so, but like, if this wasn't... But if they cared about as much in this movie as they did with Dracula Untold, they would have cast a Sam <laughs> Worthington. They would have cast... Uh, you know, uh, guy, no, not guy, uh, like they would have cast Jai Courtney or one of those, you know, mm -hmm. you know, easily mistakable actors for each other. But no, they, they got the probably the most famous actor who still working today in Tom Cruise tried to get him into this movie. They cast him in this movie, they tried their dandest to ex stand, expand with using the Mr. Hyde character for some reason, and by caring so much and trying so hard, they made their movie worse. Yeah. So, I don't know. I really have a tough time thinking about which one was which one's the worst movie. Dracula Untold, while not nearly as entertaining in the worst ways possible as, um, uh, as the Mummy, was at the very the most you could say about it is like it was a waste of time and e e easily forgettable. And it's really hard to summon anger about yeah. that. This is, while there was plenty to point and laugh at, also kind of, also was just infuriating in some phase, in some places. Because it was way dumber, and it was way more in your face with its dumbness. So, and you, and that's way harder to forget. Yeah. I mean, depending on how you look at, depending on how you look at what bad really is to you, whether it's forgettable as bad because if it doesn't leave an impact on you, you've wasted your time. Or, like, you know, a negatively impact is worse because that negatively impacts your life. And life should be about gaining net positives. So, I don't know. Like, I've all... In some cases, I've always landed on the net negative is always worse than a net zero kind of movie. Mm -hmm. And I think I had to come down on, this, on that side again. Because at least... Dracula Untold was wasn't aggressively boring. It wasn't yeah. it wasn't like Risen, you know that Risen yeah, was wasn't, wasn't that was aggressively boring, and Dracula Untold wasn't that kind of boring. I mean, as much as I wish that it were Untold, <laughs> I guess I didn't fall asleep. Yeah, so like, <clears throat> I mean, if we're if we're going to be talking about net zero movies, Risen, you know, is the watermark as far as that's concerned. So thinking of it like that. I'm thinking that this is the worst, the worst of the two. I didn't see I Frankenstein because it looked like well, neither shit. Neither did I, because <laughs> I mean, we weren't reviewing at the time. No, we're not. But lucky uh, us. Goddamn Aaron Eckhart. <laughs> oh God, he's fallen hard times. Yeah, he's doing WWE movies. <laughs> <laughs> I still maintain uh, that that's not nearly as bad as a movie as its yeah. studio's uh, pedigree would have you believe. But not exactly a proud moment in his career. So, yeah. I think we're agreed then, though, that uh, The Mummy, worse worse than Dracula Untold? Yeah, it's worse. It's worse. <sighs> yeah. Worse? Uh, this is worse than the movie that had a bat fist. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a, it, this is a rough one. Ugh. Yes, it was. Not quite sure if this is going to be in my top ten. If it if it is, it's probably going to be in like seven or six, maybe eight. It may make it. It's one of those things that might be on the cuff, you know. It's you know, it's just that extra little. It's that extra little like, uh, studio mandate yeah. with the with the Mr. Hyde bit that really pushes it into like some really bad territory. Yeah, hmm. it's it's gonna be. Uh, Scaling the edge of ten, maybe. Yeah, might get pushed. It might get a little bit. Considering how few really bad movies we saw this year, I think it might. It go might up. actually make it. It might, might make it to like eight or seven. I think. I mean, I it would be. Not, I hope it makes it. Let's put it that way. I hope yeah. it makes it. Yeah, because that means that we didn't see yeah. that too many bad movies, or the bad movies yeah. that we saw weren't as bad as some years before. Yeah, that's a good thing to hope for. I like that. I like that. I'm good with this. Yeah. Oof. Well, uh, I I think next week is I think next week is Cars, Cars Three. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
That's going to be interesting. My nephew is going to flip his shit. Yeah, I'm glad he'll enjoy it. Yeah, yeah. I think my attitude towards those kids' films has changed a slight now that there's, like, a toddler in my life. And no, like, oh no, no! I'll oh, put it. Oh no! Not not because of I could see their quality. Uh, not because I see their quality. Don't be that guy. I am not uh, like I know a bad movie when I see a bad movie, and I will you know, and I will say t- say it's a bad movie. But if it could get my nephew to sit down for a while, so that way he can look at Uncle yeah. Television, and I can like work. Are you gonna like? Oh, you know, he sat me down to watch some My Little Pony, and that got his face as no, bad as I thought. No, no, no. He he doesn't seem like the My Little Pony kind of guy. Now, my uh, niece, on the other hand, might have to get me to watch My Little Pony sometime in the future. I'm like, if I have to watch My Little Pony with my niece because I'm babysitting. I'll do it because I, I I pride myself on being a good uncle, but you're not properly gender misappropriating them. No, no, I always I'm gonna look, you know like when my when my brother and his wife's backs are turned, I'm gonna misgender the shit out of these kids. <laughs> Just gonna give take all this... my nephew's transformers and give it to her. <laughs> then give all her Barbie dolls and give it to him. She's like, no, play. I must use you as experiments. You want to watch the bird cage? <laughs> You're going to be a great Southern playwright one day, aren't you? <laughs> Oklahoma, where the <laughs> oh yeah, so this movie sucked. Yeah, I think we lost a little bit yeah. of ourselves through the recounting of this plot. But see you all next week. <laughs>